Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And today we will start on the demographical segmentation of our member base, of the member base of the bank. So, what do we mean by that? Well, we want to see um, some visuals representing the gender uh, of the members or the customers of the bank, the different types of professions they're in, their different age groups, and so on. So, let's get started with that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the name of this worksheet to map and then now we're going to create a new worksheet and let's not forget to constantly save our progress by pressing Control S. So here we're going to just create a very simple visualization which is going to be a um, pie chart. So let's take uh, gender and drag it into a Tableau and number of records which we now know how to use drag it into Tableau as well and as you can see now we have uh, female and male it tells us exactly how many uh, of uh, each gender they are in total in the bank and now we're going to change this to a pie chart probably not the best way to change it to a pie chart let's try this way so there we go if you use the show me functionality you get this uh, pretty ch pie chart now you can make it a bit bigger if you like uh, maybe change the size. Now what we're after is some labels here because um, we can see what's going on. Well, f first of all, probably change the colors. We'll change um, male to blue and female to pink. So they're intuitive. And now we want some, uh, obviously some uh, numbers in here. And what we're going to do is take this uh, sum of uh, number of records and uh, well, let's just take number of records from the measures and we'll drag them into label. And what we can see here is the um, total number of uh, males and females that were bank with our bank. We can change the format here just to see this a little bit better and keep it consistent with this uh, part of the future dashboard. So with this worksheet where, where everything is 12 and uh, bold, so we'll change that here. But for a pie chart, you're not all you're not probably interested in the total number uh, of the people or males and females. You want the percentages. So how do we get percentages? And this is where we start working with table calculations. It's a very powerful feature in Tableau, and this is the first time we're introducing it. Um, so it's going to be very uh, helpful going forward for us. To add a table calculation, so basically tell us what is this uh, number, what percentage is this number of the total of uh, what we see here, you can, you just need to do one simple step. You click on, in this case, the table calculation is going to be added to this field, so we want to replace this field with the table calculation. So click on this drop down here, and uh, so I'll probably, could I move it a bit up? So yeah, we have more space. So click on the drop down here and select quick table calculation. And here, from the quick table calculation, select percent of total. And as soon as you select that, these numbers have been replaced. And you see this little triangle up here on the actual measure. So on the right, there's this triangle. It's indicating to you that there is a table calculation being performed here. And if you go uh, here, you can see quick table calculation. It's telling you which one has been selected. And it is percent of total as we selected it. So now we want to format this again so we'll go to format and we'll change it from numbers to percentage and no decimal points and there you go so now instead of seeing the total number of males and the total number of females females we can see what percentage they make up of the total of the segmentation that we've selected well in this case the segmentation that's selected is the whole population of the bank and that's why we can see that there's 54 and 46 percent and you will see what i mean by selected segmentation when we uh, move on to creating the dashboard it will become more clear how uh, by selecting different segments of our bank these percentages will actually change so that is how you perform table calculations this is the most simple one it is called percentage of total you'll be using it quite a lot it's very handy to uh, quickly change from absolute numbers to uh, relative percentages and there are more table calculations and uh, we will explore them uh, further on uh, down the track. So that's all for today. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.